What's up guys, I do by Soap here. Today I want to talk about iOS 10.3. iOS 10.3 Beta 6 was released yesterday by Apple to registered developers and public beta testers. But iOS 10.3 is soon to be released to the general public by Apple in the next week or two. So I wanted to go buy some of the bugs and glitches that have been discovered within iOS 10.3 to see if Apple fixes these before the official rollout to the public. Now the first glitch I want to share with you guys is one of my most popular ones and you'll find a link in the description if you want to learn how to do this and that is the ability to capture video while your iPhone seems to be at sleep or locked so go ahead and head on over to the lock screen pull on over here on the lock screen card to reveal the camera click over to video capture video and then bring it over and triple click the home button and right now it is capturing video I can lock the device and you'll see that it continues to uh, capture video until I unlock the device there you go so now, if you want to learn how to do this, links are going to be in the description. I can take a look at the videos. There's several videos here that I've captured uh, before the filming of this video to test it. Everything seems to be working just fine. Now, another glitch or bug uh, that affects iOS 10.3 is a freeze bug right here with the control center. If you click on any of these icons while tapping on AirDrop, it freezes the device. Nothing happens after that. As you can see there, I can't do anything. And the iPhone will eventually respring on its own, but it does freeze the OS if you do. That. One of the most popular glitches with an iOS 10.3 is the ability to remove the labels from the icons. So all I have to do is hold the control center halfway up like that, click on the home button once or twice. Uh, sometimes it varies and then you can see there that I can remove the labels from the icons and I can move these icons to the springboard and bring some of these that don't have labels down to the dock and continue this process and then remove all the labels from all the icons. If you want to learn how to do this, links are going to be in the description for the original video or official video where I show you how to do this, but it is still possible on the latest build of iOS 10.3 beta 6. Now if you need to enable invert color and night shift together, some people have trouble seeing colors on display and having uh, night shift and invert color together could help those who have trouble seeing colors, especially at night on the display, of course. So here under the accessibilities, display accommodations, invert colors is set to help those who have a uh, problem detecting colors, as I mentioned. But if you turn on night shift, which is uh, to help you see better the display at night, you can't have both uh, turned on together. It'll turn off one and enable the other. But if you turn on invert color and from this panel tell Siri, to turn on a night shift. Night shift coming right up. Night shift will be turned on and invert colors will be enabled as well. So now you have best of both worlds. Speaking of invert colors and night shift and all that stuff, color filters, I wanted to share something that was somewhat funny to me. Uh, if you change the color or the temperature of the display and then power off your device and leave it this way, when you power up your device, your Apple logo, depending on which device you have, if you have a white iPhone, you'll get the uh, color on the image when you boot up. If you have the black iPhone, you get the icon color on the Apple logo. And you'll see what I mean here in a few seconds once I boot up this device as you saw there I turned it blue uh, for the display temperature and color so when I go to boot up my device again this is not a glitch or anything like that I thought this was just a uh, fun and interesting uh, to share with you guys you can see that when I go to boot up once it goes to the boot screen or the second set of boot screen it turns the display uh, bluish and uh, right there you see that the Apple logo is black but uh, the actual uh, color for the Apple logo or the around the Apple logo is blue normally it would be white of course this is not something that's very practical but I thought it was kind of fun to share uh, the fact that you can do that with an iOS and uh, it changed the boot logo on your device and last but not least the ability to remove the dock from iOS has been completely patched uh, right here where you hold down on uh, this section here bring it over and tap you can see there that the dock comes back uh, that's no longer possible so that's been fixed you see there that the dock does come back when you try to do that glitch and let me go ahead and test one more bringing up the multitasker and holding down on the power button and then tr double clicking on the home button will get rid of the status bar so that's still possible with an iOS 10.3 beta 6 I hope you guys enjoyed this video just a fun little video to see what's still possible on the latest beta of iOS 10.3 if you have any glitches share them with me on Twitter I'll be sure to post them here and give you guys a credits in the description of the videos this was a fun video on glitches let's see if Apple fixes these before the official release of iOS 10.3 it's been device help I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.